Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook American Comics. Open Oasis, Mutant Rise. Chapter 11 We all know Professor X is rich. This is reflected in at least two aspects. One is the super large manor where Xavier Academy is located, and the other is an unknown technology laboratory that helps X-Men develop various equipment. For these two items alone, huge sums of money are invested every year. Where does the money come from? X-Fund. Unlike most mutants, Professor X is a visionary. Many years ago, he obtained a considerable family inheritance, but instead of sitting on the mountain, he used the funds to make various investments. Over time, this wealth has grown larger and larger. Later, when he founded Xavier's school, his energy was more focused on helping mutant, and he had no time to take care of the commercial landscape, so he established the X Fund and handed over this wealth to professional managers. Over the years, there have been losses and gains. Up to now, it has a scale of more than 3 billion. Compared to Stark Industries, it's definitely a drop in the bucket. But in the eyes of Shadowcat, Jubilation Lee, Colossus and others, it is already the kind of existence that is so deep that it bursts. So much so that sitting in the luxurious office on the top floor of the building, looking at the twist city outside the panoramic glass, the five students who had just left school were unconsciously a little restrained. Lynn didn't realize it. Calm eyes fell on Lewis Cameron, the person in charge of the X Fund. When will the 100 million funds arrive? Lewis is in his 40s this year, with a suit and leather shoes and shiny leather shoes, he looks like a business elite. He obviously didn't expect that Lynn would talk about business as soon as he came. Not even the slightest pleasantries. He was stunned for a moment before he realized. Received a call from Mr. Charles. I have asked people to go through various procedures for company registration. After the procedures are completed, the funds will be in place immediately. As he spoke, he raised his wrist, looked at his watch, and added, if there are no accidents, we should be able to finish everything before we get off work today. As expected of a talent that Professor X values, he is methodical in speaking and doing things, and his efficiency is quite high. The most important is, he knows what to ask and what not to ask. Just now, for example, when Lynn took out two investment contracts and handed one of them to him, he clearly saw Charles Xavier's investment accounted for shares. A fund of 100 million yuan actually only accounts for 10% of the shares? Is Mr. Charles crazy? In Lewis's eyes, the color of astonishment obviously flickered. But he didn't say a word. Lin glanced at him appreciatively, and then asked, how long will it take for this building to be completely vacant? The purpose of purchasing this building was to optimize the asset allocation of Mr. Charles. Therefore, except for the top floor, which is used as the office space of X Fund, all the other floors are rented out. Lewis thought for a while and replied, the rent is paid annually. After the expiration, we have the right to choose not to renew the lease, but if we terminate the contract early now, we will definitely have to pay a lot of liquidated damages. Don't care about liquidated damages, Lin said decisively. I want to clear the entire building in the shortest possible time, and then recruit massively to expand the various departments of the Second World Technology Company. A game company needs so many people. Lewis was full of doubts. In his opinion, this had no meaning other than wasting unnecessary funds. If you really want to waste like this, let alone 1 billion, 1 billion is not enough. Mr. Lin, with all due respect, he hesitated for a while, and persuaded. If you follow this plan, the financial pressure will be extremely high, and if you just start a game company, you won't be able to use so many people. Lin smiled. Clever Lewis, stopped immediately. Two questions. Lin raised her hand and raised a finger. First, the second world's main business, Oasis, will be released, updated and publicized at the same time around the world. That is to say, every department of the company must corresponding to hundreds of countries around the world. So, we need people. Lots and lots of people. Lewis's expression changed immediately. Obviously did not expect Lin's ambitions to be so big. In this way, isn't every department in the second world equivalent to a small company? The cost is too high. Lewis has been in the mall for a long time, and he thinks he is well informed, but he has never seen Lin like this. Just don't follow the routine. This is not like rushing to make money. Could it be that Mr. Charles did not hesitate to spend 100 million just to have fun with this young man? Rich people have a new game? Thoughts tumbling. Lin has raised a second finger. 
Second, the funds I can use have never been 100 million. When the word spread, not only the five members of Shadowcat widened their eyes in surprise. Phoenix, who had been listening by the side without speaking, also looked at Lin curiously. Lewis asked in disbelief, Mr. Lin, is there any other source of funds? Lin smiled and picked up a newspaper from her desk. This is today's Daily Bugle. Lewis only read half of it, and got busy because of the phone call from Professor X at this moment. He took the newspaper, but saw the headline on the front page. Hanmer Industries announced that it has developed a new type of steel soldier armor and will hold an industrial expo. Hammer Industries, a large arms company no less than Stark Industries Group, has a market value of at least tens of billions, right? Lin's tone was still calm, but what he said was astonishing. Help me find some of the best traders on Wall Street, an initial capital of 100 million, and the largest leverage. Short its stock. As soon as the words came out, Everyone in the office was dumbfounded. Mr. Lin, are you crazy? Lewis stared like a ghost, almost thinking he was hallucinating. The 100 million funds have not arrived yet. Just ready to invest in the stock market. Also want to be the stock of Hanmer Industries, which is in full swing in the Air Force fire industry. Is this what normal people do? I have to say that Lewis Cameron's workability is top notch. In just a few days, he formed a financial team all composed of Wall Street elites, who only waited for Lin's order to be issued, and then began to trade, shorting the stock of Hammer Industries. At the same time, he also recruited a group of young talents from X Fund to build the basic framework of Second World Company. The technical department is definitely the core. The main framework of the world of Oasis has been built, but in the future, the dungeons will be constantly expanded, the data balance in the game will be improved and even the design and development of new dungeons will need to be carried out. In this regard, Shadowcat Katie and Jubilation Lee are jointly responsible. Over the years of assisting Lin in the development of Oasis, they have not only mastered enough technology, but also accumulated enough experience. The second daughter did not directly enter the working state. Before that, Lin planned to take them to visit Iron Man Tony Stark. The world of Oasis is too large. After it is actually launched, a super-intelligent GM is needed to manage it. He combines technology and magic, with the assistance of two daughters, and finally develops the artificial intelligence, Alice, which is already qualified for this job. But it always feels that compared with the JARVIS in the movie, something is worse. The ruler is long and the inch is short. You still need to consult a professional about this matter. When it comes to artificial intelligence, who in this world can compare to Iron Man? Lin, are you sure this works? For this visit, neither Shadowcat nor Jubilation Lee had much expectations. That is the core technology of Stark industry, Mr. Stark will be willing to show it? Some time ago, the military wanted him to disclose the technology of the iron armor, but he was sprayed with blood, and there was no dignity at all. As friends who have known each other since childhood, the two daughters are determined to follow Lin all the way to the end but they still feel that they often can't keep up with Lin's rhythm. Shorting the stock of Hammer Industries was whimsical enough. Still want to ask Iron Man for artificial intelligence technology? Is this a bit? Dot too definitely definitely? Definitely is not asking him to take it out unconditionally, we can cooperate completely. Lin obviously had a plan long ago, explaining. The company has just started, and, Oasis, wants to go online in the shortest time. The biggest shackles are the procurement of raw materials and the production of terminal equipment. It is impossible for us to slowly build a production line from scratch. Too slow. In this regard, Stark Industries has factories and equipment all over the world, and a mature procurement and transportation system, which can obviously save us a lot of time. Isn't it good for both parties to cooperate and win-win? Shadowcat and Jubilation Lee looked at each other. That's right but arms companies cooperate with game companies. Can it really work? Lin acted vigorously and was ready to leave immediately. With a buzz, the space portal quietly opened. Seeing this scene, Iceman, Colossus, and Roberto, who had been playing soy sauce in the office for a few days, could no longer hold back. Lin. The three jumped up from the sofa almost at the same time, stopped Lin and asked, and us, what are we, going to do? They have been sitting on pins and needles these days. I thought that following Lin was to carry out Charles's secret mission, but who would have thought that this mission would not require fighting at all? 
Seeing that Lynn, Katie, and Jubilation Lee have been busy, they can only watch from the sidelines. That feeling, don't mention how uncomfortable it is. Study. Lynn definitely didn't forget about them, and deliberately left them alone for a few days to stimulate their enthusiasm. At this moment, he said without any hesitation, you should treat yourself as interns, go around all the departments of the company, how to operate, how to manage, and learn all useful knowledge and skills. You only know whether to study super ability fighting or not. Promising. The voice fell, and the person had disappeared. Shadowcat and Jubilation Lee followed. The space door dispersed. Iceman, Colossus, and Roberto looked at each other. I learned to control super abilities in the academy, but now I leave the academy, but I want to learn the knowledge of ordinary people? What is this called? The three subconsciously looked at Phoenix on the sofa. Don't look at me, you are employees of Second World now, and Lynn is the president of Second World. Jean Grey held a glass of red wine in her hand, and took a sip comfortably. She is very clear about her position. The task Professor X gave her was to see how Lynn would carry out the plan, so these days, she has been observing and never pointing fingers. Unless the students are in danger, she will treat herself as a vacation. There was silence in the office. After good. Uh. Three sighs sounded almost simultaneously, the roof of the Stark building. A red ray of light approached rapidly, appearing extremely bright in the night sky. Tony Stark controlled the Mark IV generation steel battlesuit, and soon came to the sky above the roof, and the floor below spread out automatically, extending a landing platform. The steel mask opened, revealing a distressed face. J-A-R-V-I-S, quickly help me take off my armor, I can't wait to have a good drink. The tired voice was full of unconcealable depression. That fellow Rhodes, you really don't show mercy at all. I feel like my waist is about to break. If I hadn't been poisoned by the palladium element, I would have lived for a few days, and I would have beaten him to the ground for teeth. I don't know if it's right or wrong for me to let him take away the Mark II battlesuit on purpose. After I die, he should miss me. Maybe it's because he's in an extremely bad mood or maybe he's returned to his private space, he chattered endlessly to himself. But as he spoke, he was suddenly taken aback. For some reason, none of the mechanical arms that disassembled the steel battlesuit moved. Also at at the moment, a strange voice suddenly sounded, Mr. Stark, it seems that tonight is not particularly good for you. Who? Tony's complexion changed suddenly, he almost subconsciously raised his right arm, and the laser cannon in his palm lit up. On the apparently empty rooftop, there seems to be a bubble bursting. The three figures of Lynn slowly appeared. The roof, the night view is picturesque. But Tony Stark was not in the mood to appreciate it. Who are you? He stared at Lynn coldly, his already ugly face became more and more gloomy. In the middle of the night, three uninvited guests appeared on the roof of their company out of thin air. In this situation, it would be impossible for anyone to greet them with a smile. Especially, J-A-R-V-I-S did not raise the alarm. This makes him extremely incredible, since he developed the super artificial intelligence J-A-R-V-I-S, he has experienced too much convenience. To put it bluntly, the security and defense systems of the Stark building even surpassed the military's highest level secret base. But at the moment, there was no response at all. Didn't find it, or was it hacked? We mean no harm, Mr. Stark. Lin's reaction to Iron Man was not surprising at all, and he said, I take the liberty of visiting, I just want to discuss a business with you. As he spoke, he took off a pocket earphone from his ear, Alice, don't pester Mr. J-A-R-V-I-S. Yes master. A pleasant female voice sounded from the earphones. Almost at the same time, Iron Man finds himself reconnecting with J-A-R-V-I-S. Mr. Stark, someone briefly blocked our connection. Iron Man frowned, with surprise in his eyes, artificial intelligence? No offense intended, Mr. Stark. The Bluetooth headset in Lin's hand flashed a red light in a very humane way. I'm just happy to see Lai Shinchi, and I want to see how big the gap is between me and Mr. J-A-R-V-I-S. She's great, sir. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S was actually a little excited. Although give me a little time, I can get rid of her entanglement soon, but even so, she can still be called. Shut up, J-A-R-V-I-S, Tony Stark interrupted impatiently. The pulse cannon in his palm was still aimed at Lin. I don't care who you are or what you are going to do, 
I just know that I am in a bad mood right now. Any business, any shield, any shit world safety, I'll have to do with it. I don't care. I just want to drink now, the kind that I drink until I die. And drink alone. A person. In the eyes of Shadowcat and Jubilation Lee, the famous Iron Man seems to be a little neurotic. This irritable appearance is more like a drunkard than a superhero. Accompanied by the night wind, a distinct smell of alcohol came to his nostrils. How much did you drink? Drunk driving. What shield? What world safety? What is he talking about? Jubilation Lee clapped his hands, crackling between his fingers, and a few energy balls appeared. Lin, I think we need to help Mr. Stark sober up first. In Tony's steel battlesuit, the sound of drip and drip suddenly became louder. Don't make trouble, we're not here to fight. Lin quickly grabbed Jubilation Lee, but she didn't expect that the pulse gun in Tony Stark's palm was so bright that it shot out without any hesitation. Well, the current state of this product is indeed not right. Although he temporarily raised his hand, the laser cannon landed at the feet of the three of Lin but this move undoubtedly showed his attitude. Now, at the moment, nothing matters more than drinking. Conscious that you must die, so your mentality has changed? Lin's eyes lit up, not surprised but delighted. The more intense Tony Stark's reaction was, the more serious his psychological problems were at the moment, so the purpose of this visit would be easier to achieve. That being the case, let him vent first. Thinking of this, Lin did not retreat but advanced at the critical moment, sending herself into the firing range of the pulse gun. So fast, Tony Stark felt a flash in front of his eyes, but before he could react, the pulse gun blasted Lin head on. Wait. Looks like it missed the target. There seemed to be such a strange force around Lin's body. The moment the pulse gun hit his body, it deflected strangely and shot into the sky. Three ring magic psionic deflection. The expected pulse explosion did not appear. No wonder you dare to break into my company in the middle of the night. You are not an ordinary person. It seems that I have softened my heart. Tony's expression changed. Drunkenness surged. Both palms were aimed at Lin, and two fast and powerful pulse guns whizzed out. But the same scene happened again. The two pulse guns didn't even touch Lin's clothes, and they were twisted and deflected by the strange force. J-A-R-V-I-S, are you drinking too much like me and can't even lock on a target? Tony pouted in disbelief, shish. However, what made him extremely irritated was that this was of no use. The voice of J-A-R-V-I-S came from the ear, with a hint of grievance. Sir, I'm sure I locked the target. Then why can't you hit him? With a roar, Tony leapt into the air with a sudden leap. The armor on the shoulders of the battlesuit was opened, revealing several rows of mini howitzers. The sound of whoosh and whoosh pierced the night sky, and dozens of mini cannonballs bombarded Lin from all directions. Tisk tisk, the duel between technology and magic. Lin said with great interest, these mini cannonballs are not energy, and the magic force field formed by psionic deflection obviously cannot produce effects. So, he snapped his fingers, three ring magic distortion field. Centering on where he, Shadowcat, and Jubilation Lee were, the force field within a 10-meter radius changed quietly. The next moment, under Tony's unbelievable gaze, dozens of mini cannonballs with automatic locking systems seemed to have lost their way, and all of them passed Lin. Lin didn't come to fight, so none of these shells landed on the roof, but like pulse guns, they all shot into the sky. Boom 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 boom. The shells exploded like a firework. Tony's mentality exploded on the spot, and the hot weapon had no effect, so he controlled the steel battlesuit and swooped down, swinging his steel fist towards Lin. Lin took a few steps forward without changing her expression. But the distortion field quietly shrunk, covering only his body. So, in the eyes of Katie and Jubilation Lee, they saw that Iron Man's fist was clearly aimed at Lin, but inexplicably shifted the direction on the way, and finally only brushed Lin's face with a slight difference. Boom, the powerful and heavy punch hit the ground, revealing a pothole made of reinforced concrete. This scene looks like Iron Man's conscience found out after punching, and he took the initiative to get out of the way of the target, but because of huge amounts of inertia, he cheated himself. Shit. I can't believe I can't beat you. Tony was furious, the thrusters under his feet whirred, he turned over in a volley, and his right foot swept across Lin's lower body like a whip. Can't hit the face, my legs are so long, can I always hit the target? 
The scene that made him despair happened again. Obviously, this leg will definitely hit Lin, but on the way, he first felt a huge repulsive force, and then a strange traction force, which made this leg, and finally with a slight distance, just brushes past Lin's right leg. Still missed the target. Inertia added to the body, the steel battlesuit spun a dozen times like a top before it stabilized. Tony was dizzy right away. Then, it fell to the ground with a bang. Sir, the force field around this person is constantly changing. Give me a few seconds, and I can calculate how fast and strong I need to break the limit of this force field. JARVIS is worthy of being a top artificial intelligence. In a short period of time, it discovered the abnormality of Lin's magic. Tony's head was buzzing. He reopened the steel mask and took a big gulp of air. Was about to speak. There was a sudden thunder in his ears. Mr. Stark, are you sober? This voice definitely came from Lin's mouth. It was as calm as ever, but for some reason, in Tony's ears, it seemed to be amplified hundreds of times. Do not, this is not ringing in the ear at all. It's more like it exploded directly from my mind. Four ring magic mind whiplash. Vomit. Tony felt that his brain was exploding, his eyes were full of gold stars, and there was a wave of heat in his stomach, and he couldn't help but vomit. J-A-R-V-I-S, voice suddenly stopped. Even if it's just an artificial intelligence, it knows very well that even if it finds a way to hit Lin, it's useless in Mr. Stark's current state. The atmosphere suddenly became a little awkward. I don't know how long I vomited. Tony finally recovered a bit, the drunkenness receded, and reason returned to his mind. He lay down invisible, with a look of lying flat and resigned, and glanced at Lin. What are you talking about? Magic. Lin smiled slightly. I'm a magician, Mr. Stark. Tony was silent for a long time. Suddenly cursed. I hate magicians. Shadowcat and Jubilation Lee exchanged glances, gloating smiles on their faces at the same time. Trust me, Mr. Stark, you won't be annoying any time soon. Lin put away her magic, and said calmly. For example, now, I only need to move my fingers to extract all the palladium in your body. No doubt. This sentence was like a bomb, dropped in Tony's heart. How did you know that I was poisoned by palladium? His first instinct was to be vigilant and alert. But then, the constant pain in his body made him swallow honestly. Your magic can really extract the palladium element? During this period of time, he was almost collapsed by palladium poisoning. If it wasn't because he found out that his life was not long, how could he deliberately indulge himself and give up on himself? On the one hand, he handed over the company to Pepper, and endured the other party's misunderstanding. On the other hand, he specially asked his friend Colonel Rhodes to, Rob, take the Mark III steel battlesuit. Neither Pepper nor Rhodes knew, he was explaining his funeral. God testifies. Tony Stark has never been a person who resigns himself to fate. But he is a self-proclaimed genius, but he has exhausted all methods, and he can't find a new element to replace palladium, so he can only fall into the despair of waiting for death. But now, the young man in front of him, who doesn't even know his name, actually said that he has a way to extract the elements from his body? At this moment, Tony was afraid that he was dreaming. In the middle of the night, do you think I'm here to joke with you? Lin said with a half-smile. Seeing the disbelief on Tony's face, he shrugged. So, Mr. Stark is going to entertain guests on the rooftop? There was no animosity, and Lin wasn't here to cause trouble, and now, after some venting, Tony had clearly regained his sanity. Next, we can talk about business in a calm manner. Ten minutes later, the president's reception room of the Stark building. The three of Lin sat on the ultra-luxury sofa, drinking the top-quality wine collected by Tony, feeling comfortable and calm. Help me get rid of the palladium element in my body, the price is. The cooperation you just said? Tony didn't even change his clothes, and said impatiently. Knowing that he could still be saved, his mentality returned to normal in an instant, and his brain turned again. The drunken, self-destructive Iron Man before seemed to have never appeared. He is very clear that there is no free lunch in this world. Tell me, what do you want to cooperate with? It was beyond Tony's expectations. Lin nodded upon hearing this. Then he shook his head again. I did come to you to discuss business, but I didn't threaten your life. Lin took a sip of her wine, with a serious expression on her face. Business is all about win-win cooperation. If you use coercion and lure, it's meaningless. 
Tony froze for a moment. He has been in charge of the Stark Industrial Group for many years, and has seen too many intrigues in the business world. How can there be someone like Lin who holds the cards in his hand and doesn't use them? Are you serious? He couldn't help but confirm it. Definitely. Lin put down her wine glass and smiled faintly. To show my sincerity, I can now extract the palladium element from your body. Before he finished speaking, he raised his right hand and held it against Tony. Three ring magic and element extraction. I saw silver white light spots emerging from all over Tony's body, gradually converging into lines, and then leaving his body like silk. During this process, Tony first felt a sharp pain in his body, followed by an indescribable exhilaration. What, he couldn't help moaning, his expression was more high than drugged. Goodness behold, he had been suffering like this for too long. After a few minutes, Lin put away her magic. When Tony came back to his senses, he felt more comfortable than ever before, and his face was full of joy and excitement. But then, there was a bleakness, it's not enough to just extract the palladium element. Yes, this can only treat the symptoms but not the root cause. Lin nodded. The palladium element in your body comes from the arc reactor in your chest. Unless it is completely dismantled, it will still be produced constantly even if it is emptied. Tony had clearly thought of that, too. He smiled wryly. Even so, I'm already very content. After all, Iron Man, who is as godlike as a mortal body, looks bohemian on the outside, but inside he is as solid as a rock, and he soon escaped from his gloomy state of mind. At least he won't die, will he? Lin's words are not finished yet. So, you now have two choices. One is to find new elements to replace them and create a brand new arc reactor. The other is to remove the shrapnel fragments in the body through surgery and then you don't have to rely on it for life support anymore. You seem to know me very well. Tony asked with a frown, but before he finished speaking, he suddenly froze. You you, he looked at Lin's calm and calm expression, and suddenly an incredible guess popped up in his mind. He couldn't help but tremble, and stammered, will you tell me, can you? I can. Lin said every word like thunder. I can do both. This is my sincerity. No one knows. Lin chooses to leave Xavier's school at this point in time and start her own plan, which is after careful consideration. First of all, it is natural to obtain a state of spiritual immunity, which greatly increases the sense of security. Secondly, Justin Hammer's Iron Soldier press conference is doomed to fail. At that time, the stock of Hammer Industries will plummet wildly, just in time to make a lot of money. Third, and most importantly, it's Tony Stark who is poisoned with palladium and is at the bottom of his life. And at the moment, although S.H.I.E.L.D. has been in contact with him and sent Black Widow to infiltrate the Stark group, they haven't told him yet. Howard Stark, his father, has already discovered the news of the new element. This is undoubtedly the best time to cut in. The icing on the cake is never as good as giving charcoal in the snow. What else can show sincerity more than the grace of saving one's life? Tony was completely dumbfounded. Have you found a new element to replace palladium? He looked at Lin in disbelief. The expression on his face was mixed with excitement, puzzlement, suspicion, guard. It was extremely complicated. That's right, it's in. Lin nodded slightly. As soon as the words were out of his mouth, Tony suddenly yelled, Wait. Kindness? Lin was taken aback, with a puzzled look on his face. Let's talk about your business first. Tony took a deep breath, and although his heart was beating extremely fast, he held back. You helped me get rid of the palladium element in my body, which has already saved my life. I can't push further, so. Let's talk about cooperation first. Bar. As long as I can do it, I will definitely not refuse. He seemed to have exhausted all his strength to say these words. Katie and Jubilation Lee blinked in surprise. On the rooftop just now, this person looked like a drunkard who gave up on himself. He never thought that now, he could refuse the temptation of a life-saving message. Could it be that this is the real Iron Man? Thinking of this, the second daughter couldn't help giving Tony a high look. Lin was also a little surprised. It's not about making progress. What I need is a lively partner. If you die, it won't do me any good. As he said that, he didn't wait for Tony to refuse, and quickly said, Just go and see what your father left behind, the three-dimensional model of the Stark Expo. Before Tony could interrupt, he was startled when he heard this. You mean, my dad? Discovered the new element long ago? 
This news obviously had a big impact on him. Lin nodded. It's just that the technology level at that time couldn't be synthesized. Tony fell silent. After a few minutes, he sighed deeply. No wonder he let me keep that model. He didn't know what he thought of, but he didn't doubt the authenticity of the news. But at the same time, he didn't go to the model for the first time, but looked at Lin. So, after I synthesize new elements, my body will never have any problems again? Lin smiled and said, you are a professional in this regard. Tony asked again. And at that time, if I want to completely remove the shrapnel fragments in my body, are you willing to help me? Use your, magic? Lin nods. No other conditions? Tony's eyes gradually became sharper. No, Lin looked at him impatiently. I said it, this is my sincerity. Tony suddenly laughed. If that's the case, I'm starting to be interested in the business you're talking about. He poured himself a glass of red wine, drank it in one gulp, and then leaned comfortably on the sofa. I'm curious, what kind of business do you do as a magician? Lin smiled too. He snapped his fingers, and a black game bracelet appeared out of thin air, slowly flying towards Tony. Now that he got to the point, he didn't mean to talk nonsense. There are three items of cooperation. First, artificial intelligence technology. Second, a brand new arc reactor. Third, as a partner, our company would like to invite the famous Iron Man to be the chief experience officer of the second world of Oasis. Bring the game bracelet and enter the second world of Oasis. A faint light quietly covered the whole body. Tony lay on the sofa with his eyes closed, his brainwaves entering a state of light sleep. The next moment, his eyelids trembled slightly, and a starry sky suddenly appeared in his originally pitch black sight. The stars are bright, and the Milky Way is like a belt. This feeling, his heart beat slightly, and he felt like he was in space, but when he looked around and suddenly turned around, a beautiful blue planet suddenly came into view, and an unparalleled shock hit his mind. Earth. Very real Earth. Since having the steel battlesuit, Tony has conducted high-altitude flights more than once, overlooking the vast land. However, the battlesuit of the Mark IV generation cannot escape the gravity of the Earth and enter space. So it was his first time to look down on the Earth in space like this. He was pretty sure it wasn't true, but, but I can't find the slightest sense of falsehood. How is this simulated? Just rely on a bracelet. His eyes widened in disbelief. Could it be that technology has developed to this level in a corner that he doesn't know about? While he was in a daze, a pleasant voice came from beside his ear. Mr. Stark, you are welcome to enter the second world of Oasis. As the chief experience officer of the company, you will have the authority to experience the real identity, and you can enter all copies at the same time. Alice? Tony recognized immediately that this was the artificial intelligence invented by Lin. He had an inexplicable sense of absurdity. Use artificial intelligence as a game GM? This is too extravagant. Okay, then let me see what is so wonderful about this second world. He took a light breath, his curiosity rising uncontrollably. As you wish, Mr. Stark. As soon as Alice's voice fell, a strong sense of weightlessness suddenly came. Tony was quite familiar with this feeling. He once turned off the engine of a steel battlesuit at an altitude of 10,000 meters, allowing himself to fall from a high altitude, just to experience the thrill that is a hundred times more intense than bungee jumping. So he wasn't too alarmed. I just didn't expect to experience the same feeling in a game. What made him even more strange was that when a person encounters a sudden strong stimulus in his sleep, he will definitely wake up, but at the moment, he has not escaped from the second world. Could it be that he is not in a state of sleep at the moment? How did that get into this virtual world? What is the principle? One question after another emerged from my mind, and at the same time, the scene in my sight changed rapidly. The magnificent land and sea cities and streets, finally became a skyscraper with more than 100 floors. Stark building, a breeze gathered under his feet, slowly supported his body, and landed on the street. The flow of traffic is like a waterfall and the voices of people are noisy. At this moment, Tony felt exactly the same shock as Professor X. Without him, it's too real. At the entrance of the building, NPC employees came in and out, and when they saw him, they greeted him, Mr. Stark. Mr. Stark. Mr. Stark. It was clear to Tony that these were not real people. But there is still a sense of confusion in reality. Is this real identity substitution? 
Tony did not enter the building, but wandered around curiously. The more he walked, the more frightened he became. No wonder it is called the second world. This can completely experience another life in this virtual world. In the second world, you can do whatever you want, sir. Alice responded. Anything? Tony obviously didn't believe it. Including creating a steel battle suit and transforming into Iron Man? Definitely, this is your ability. Along with Alice's voice, a light curtain quietly emerged. Player. Tony Stark, Chief Experience Officer, Identity, Chairman of Stark Industries Group. Ability. Technology becomes a god, skill, none. Props. None, wealth. 90 billion, copy gold coins, unlimited. I only have 90 billion assets. Tony pouted. What's the use of this dungeon gold coin? Another curtain of light opened. Copy selection. Free leisure class, free competitive class, movie experience class. Fighting, action, shooting, science fiction, monsters, magic. Open black lens bracket horror close black lens bracket. Tony looked one by one, and found that the free leisure and competitive dungeons are the most, including various vacation scenes, competitive sports, wild adventures, food competitions, etc. There are at least hundreds of them. Experience everything in the world without leaving home? Tony didn't need to think about it, he also knew the temptation of these dungeons for those casual players. However, as a top rich man, what hasn't he seen? So he was not interested in these things, so he turned directly to, Monsters, and found a copy called, Jurassic World. Jurassic? Dinosaurs? I haven't seen it yet, go and see it first. He chose this copy without any hesitation. Player Tony Stark, choose a copy of Jurassic World. Open black lens bracket enter close black lens bracket after a while, the surrounding scene changed drastically. Giant trees are towering and bushes are overgrown. The air is mixed with a thick salty and humid smell. It seems to be an island. As soon as this idea came to Tony's mind, he saw a giant dinosaur with a height of more than 10 meters, exuding a terrifying aura, running on a rampage all the way. The pore all over his body stood up at this moment. The instinctive fear of human beings rushed straight to the head. Great crab special. Tony only had time to yell before he felt the sky darken, and a large shadow enveloped him and the big feet of the giant dinosaur had come into close contact with him. Boom, his body was crushed on the spot and turned into a large piece of gold coins. At the moment when his eyes went dark, Alice's reminder seemed to come from his ear. Mr. Stark, before entering the instance, you at least forged a steel battle suit? Tony swears, he definitely heard the sarcasm from this voice. As it turns out, the world of Oasis is irresistible. Iron Man is no exception. Tony Stark's first trip to, Oasis, lasted a full 11 hours. When he was kicked out of the game by the system because of hunger, it was already dawn. And he is still excited, I'm done with this deal. Eyes fixed on Lin excitedly, Tony found that he didn't feel tired, but was full of energy, not like staying up all night, but more like sleeping all night. He was even more surprised immediately. Resting my body and mind while I'm gaming? This technology is against the sky, you sure? Lin slept soundly on the luxurious sofa all night. Hearing this, he stretched his waist and said, don't think about it anymore. After all, Stark Industries is in the arms business. Lin, I'm a playboy, not a fool. Tony rolled his eyes. A completely real second world, where ordinary people can experience all kinds of joys of life, while ambitious people can experience extraordinary power in it and become the world of their dreams. Look. I don't think there is anyone in this world who can reject, Oasis. This is an epic-making invention. Once it is released, it will definitely sweep the world. At that time, the second world technology companies will make a lot more money than we sell arms. For Stark Industries, there is money to be made, and a lot of money at that. Why not? Speaking of this, he restrained his expression and looked at Lin seriously. I accept all the three conditions you mentioned. In addition, Stark Industries factories, production lines, and transportation lines around the world can also be shared. How much can you give me? Shares. 10%. Lin answered without any hesitation. Tony didn't realize it all at once, 10%. That's right, 10%. Lin's expression didn't mean to be joking at all. My first partner invested 100 million yuan, plus a skyscraper, which only accounted for 10%. Tony fell silent. 
In terms of business, this price is obviously unacceptable to him. But on second thought, Lin has actually developed artificial intelligence technology, but Alice's level of intelligence is not as good as JARVIS. The brand new arc reaction furnace, if Lin didn't tell himself, he couldn't find a new element to replace it. The chief experience officer, doesn't seem like he has to be himself? So for this cooperation, what I really paid for is actually only the production line and transportation line of the Stark Group. In this way, 10% of the shares are not a disadvantage. Even earned it. Okay, 10% is 10%. Tony exhaled slowly. As soon as he agreed, he faintly felt that something was wrong. Such a good deal. No consortium in the world would refuse. Why did you come to me? Definitely because your energy is beyond your imagination. Lin's thoughts flashed. Iron Man possesses technological power beyond the times, and can cause huge casualties with a single thought. To some extent, this is actually no different from mutant. But why didn't any member of Congress introduce a bill against Iron Man? Why is Iron Man still sought after by the whole people? Why is Tony so sloppy, never giving face to those politicians, even the official disgraced at the hearing, but still unscathed? not because of his status as the CEO of Stark Industries. As a super-large global arms group, Stark Group Industry has huge contacts in the military and political circles of various countries, and at the same time maintains good relationships with countless media outlets. It is commonplace to guide and control public opinion. Most importantly, the world's top arms company. God knows how many congressmen, politicians, and military generals have black materials and handles. This is the right to speak. The media all over the world are saying that mutant is a huge threat to human safety. Let them say that Iron Man threatens the safety of the world? So, 10% of the shares, in exchange for Stark Industries becoming a shareholder of the second world. This business is a big hit. Happy cooperation. Happy cooperation. When the contract is signed, the cooperation officially begins. For the next period of time, the three of Lin will stay in the Stark building. On the one hand, exchange artificial intelligence technology with Tony. On the other hand, it is also waiting for Tony to research new elements, replace the palladium element in the arc reactor, and create a brand new reactor. This is very important. Because of it, it's Lin's power supply for the Oasis server. To replicate a virtual world that is no different from the real world and accommodate all players in the world. The load capacity of the server is unprecedented, and general energy cannot be supplied at all. And it was mentioned in the movie that the super-large reactor built by Tony based on the Stark building can continuously supply power to the entire Twist City for a year. It is undoubtedly the most suitable to use it as the energy source of the Oasis world. While Tony was researching new elements, Lin also assigned a new task to Katie and Jubilation Lee. The chief experience officer is already in place, and the promotion of Oasis should also be put on the agenda. So, three days later, suddenly, countless posts about Iron Man appeared on the internet. Shock. The famous Iron Man actually did such a thing in broad daylight. Close double angle bracket. The truth about Iron Man and Colonel Rhodes parting ways. The reason why Tony Stark gave up the party turned out to be. Tears. After Iron Man stepped down as president, he became obsessed with close double angle bracket. The mysterious game is now, Tony Stark says it will change the world. A game worth 90 billion is eligible to play, Iron Man's new favorite. Facts have proved that Shadowcat, a computer genius, and Alice, an artificial intelligence, can generate enough energy to overturn the entire network. In just a few days, a network frenzy was set off. And almost all news is accompanied by a photo. Iron Man was lying on the sofa, with a black bracelet on his wrist, shining with a faint light, covering his whole body. God knows when this photo was taken. Anyway, Tony had a contented smirk on his face. Paired with this photo, various news about the mysterious game swept the entire internet, triggering countless people's curiosity and discussions, but none of them clarified what game it was. There is not even any news, the word, Oasis, appears. It's really just a picture at the beginning, and the content is all based on editing. Oh my god, a playboy like Tony Stark would be addicted to games? The reason why he broke up with Colonel Rhodes is that Colonel Rhodes wants to force him to quit internet addiction? This is simply unbelievable. What kind of game is it that makes him so obsessed? 
he doesn't even go to his favorite party. The most important thing is that there seems to be no second person playing this game in the whole world. Is it true that only those who are worth 90 billion are eligible to play? Could it be a game developed by aliens? It's because of playing this game that Tony Stark became a genius and invented the steel battlesuit? Who knows, anyway, he gave up the position of president of the company to the secretary just to play games. I really want to meet you. By the way, has technology developed to this level now? Playing games with a wristband? What about the monitor? What about the keyboard? At least get some AR glasses. As time goes by, the popularity on the internet is getting higher and higher. It's because Iron Man's popularity is too high. He was originally a frequent visitor to major newspapers and news, playboys, top rich men, technological geniuses, steel battlesuits. When these elements are combined, any piece of news is full of explosive points. What's more, such an overwhelming appearance. All of a sudden, the discussion about, what game is Iron Man playing? became a hot topic on the internet. Someone even launched a reward for it. It can only be said that in terms of rubbing the heat, Lin played it clearly. Lin, I finally know why you chose Mr. Stark as chief experience officer. In the CEO's office, Shadowcat looked at the various posts and information projected in the void, and his face was full of shock. His popularity is too terrifying. I just added fuel to the flames a little, and the whole network exploded. Lin stood by the floor to ceiling windows, watching the sunset outside. This is normal. There was no surprise on his face. Tony Stark is a man who lives in the news. I don't know what his expression will be when he sees the news after he leaves customs. Jubilation Lee said with a smirk. Lin was speechless. Cooperate with the publicity. This is the job of the chief experience officer. He signed the contract. I guess when he signed the contract, he never imagined that we would use such a publicity method. Shadowcat also laughed, and then, doubts appeared on his face. In the current situation, are we really not going to announce some information about, Oasis? Do not. Lin shook her head. This is just the first wave of warm-up, the purpose is to arouse the public's curiosity. At this time, the more mysterious, Oasis, is. The longer this discussion will last, and the more people it can influence. Many. Needless to say, this is typical hunger marketing. The first step is to expand your popularity. After a pause, Lin turned her head and looked at the two little friends. Don't forget, our goal is to have the entire population of the world become gamers. Now. Dot how can we get there? Shadowcat and Jubilation Lee looked at each other. They all nodded in agreement. The impact of this cyber storm affects far more than ordinary people. Shield Headquarters. When Nick Fury received the report from his subordinates, he couldn't help being slightly taken aback. Phil Coulson, what do you think Tony Stark is thinking? He left the thick stack of reports on the table, looked at his subordinates and said, according to our information, he is not poisoned by palladium element, do you think he is going to die? A few days ago, you were still giving up on yourself, and in a blink of an eye you were at home playing games? Is there still such an uproar? Phil Coulson, the village chief of Marvel Novice Village, obviously felt that he couldn't keep up with Tony's brain circuit. Perhaps, he organized his words, and said, do you feel that you are going to die anyway, so why don't you just live happily in the last period of your life? What, Nick Fury sneered. Besides alcohol and women, I believe there are other things that can make Tony Stark happy, but tell me, there is a game in it? Well, Mr. Stark is not one to play games. Phil Coulson also felt that his idea was unreliable. But according to the news from Natasha Romanoff, he has indeed not shown up for half a month, and he has locked himself in the top floor laboratory all day long, not knowing what he is doing. Yeah, it's been half a month, I haven't participated in any party, I haven't worn a steel battlesuit to fight crime, I haven't even found Pepper. What the hell is he doing? Nick Fury was lost in thought. I don't know how long it took, but his expression was slightly concentrated. Contact Natasha Romanoff, I want to meet Tony, it's time to tell him about Howard's discovery of new elements back then. Phil Coulson grimaced. Now? I have an ominous feeling that I can't wait any longer. In Nick Fury's one eye, the brilliance was fleeting. He has been working to form a superhero alliance to maintain global security. For this reason, he has delineated a lot of candidates. Tony was an extremely important one. Not only because of the power of the steel battle suit, but also because of the huge energy of Stark Industries, 
which is of great benefit to him as S.H.I.E.L.D. director. You know, there is a security council on top of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because of this, he already knew that Tony was poisoned by the palladium element, but he never told him about the new element. He knows very well that icing on the cake is far worse than giving charcoal in the snow. He has been waiting. When Tony is completely desperate, give Tony a little light of hope. In this way, the value of this news can be maximized, and Tony's gratitude can be maximized. Only now, he suddenly had a premonition. This matter will not go so smoothly. As if to confirm his premonition, when Phil Coulson contacted Black Widow who had sneaked into the Stark group, and then through Pepper, he finally called Tony. Tony said in a vigilant and weird tone, I have already researched the new element. Nick Fury was stunned on the spot, with only one thought in his mind. The cooked duck. Dot fly. The secret research base of Hammer Industries. What the hell is Tony Stark doing? Justin Hammer also saw the uproar on the internet, but unlike Nick Fury, although he was weird, he was more happy. Although I don't know what happened, but recently, Tony Stark's state is very strange. This is really great, with a light and cheerful pace, Justin Hammer couldn't help but took out a bottle of fine wine and poured himself a glass. Interestingly, as a competitor, he has lost to Stark Industries in the arms market share all year round, but he himself looks down on Tony Stark from the bottom of his heart. In his opinion, Tony is a so-called rich second generation. I was lucky enough to tinker with an epic making technological weapon like a steel battlesuit, but I never thought about using it to make money. Instead, I wore it to fight crime everywhere, and even wanted to give up the core arms business of Stark Industries to do new energy. I'm afraid the brain is squeezed by the door? You're an arms dealer. Thinking about saving the world all day long. Every time Justin Hammer thinks of these things, he feels extremely excited. He has no doubt that, following this rhythm, the country that Howard Stark conquered back then will be defeated by Tony in a short time. This is undoubtedly a great joy for Hammer Industries. During the recent period, the Playboy first made the official look ashamed at the hearing, and then fought with Colonel Rhodes, and his relationship with the military deteriorated greatly. In a rage, the military cancelled all orders from Stark Industries and instead purchased from Hammer Industries. This is an order with huge profits. Dear Tony, keep going like this. When my Iron Soldier press conference is held, the whole world will know that the weapon technology of our Hammer Industries has far surpassed that of Stark Industries. I, Justin Hammer, am the veritable king of the arms industry. And you, Tony Stark, are just a joker. After drinking the red wine in the glass, Justin Hammer stared at Ivan Vanke who was concentrating on assembling the armor on the console. Tony, it probably wouldn't occur to you. I fished out this whip chain that also mastered the arc reactor technology from the prison. With his skills, the Iron Soldiers project will be a great success. Just wait and see. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but Ivan Vanke seemed to feel it even though he didn't look up when Justin's eyes came. The corners of his mouth curled up slightly, soon. The time for revenge is near. Time passed in an orderly manner. On this day, Lynn opened her eyes from the big soft bed, with a new magic in her mind as usual. Five rings magic early warning, a constant active magic? Lynn was slightly taken aback. This magic is very interesting. During the duration of the magic, it will automatically warn when encountering danger, producing the effect of moving in the heart. In the past, a heartbeat was just an adjective, but in the future, it is real. And the most important thing is, this magic can still be constant in oneself. It is equivalent to becoming a passive skill, magic version of spider telepathy? Lin smiled slightly, and chose constant without any hesitation. Good luck today, must be a good day. Sure enough, when he brought out two plates of delicious fried rice with shredded pork, ham and eggs from the kitchen, Shadowcat and Jubilation Lee, who smelled the aroma, came to him with a whoosh, bringing the first good news. Don't ask why there is a big bed and a kitchen on the top floor of the Stark building. In the face of magic, these are small scenes. Lynn, after this period of communication, we think we can upgrade Alice. Jubilation Lee took the egg fried rice, took a mouthful of it, and said with emotion, I have already adapted to the food here, but since I ate the food you cooked, I realized that when it comes to food, it depends on our country. Shadowcat also grabbed a plate, and nodded while eating. I still don't understand why ordinary rice tastes so good when you add something to it and stir-fry it. 
Are you two starving ghosts reincarnated? Lin laughed and cursed, but went back to the kitchen and filled another bowl. The three of them were eating as Tony came out of the operations lab. Lin, the brand new arc reactor, it's done. His face was full of exhaustion, but his eyes shone with excitement. He held an inverted triangle reaction furnace in his hand, emitting a warm white light. As soon as he finished speaking, he saw the appearance of his office change drastically. Not only a few more beds, but also a lot of kitchen utensils? You, Tony was stunned. Although my office is very big, there is no problem with a few beds, but you don't have to cook here, right? If you want to eat, just ask Jarvis to call you. You don't understand, eating and filling your stomach are two different things. Lynn shook her head with a smile, and handed the egg fried rice to Tony. Even though it has been ten years, he still can't adapt to the food in the beautiful country. When he was in Xavier's school, he often took Katie and Jubilation Lee to cook. It is commonplace to exchange knowledge like this day and night, cook and eat when you are hungry, and sleep when you are sleepy. Well, it is a serious exchange of knowledge. Tony took the plate in a daze, only to feel an indescribable aroma, which immediately aroused the glutton in his stomach, drooling wildly. It's so fragrant. The reaction furnace, which was regarded as a treasure just now, was thrown on the table casually. For food, eat first. After taking one bite, Tony, who had stayed up all night for several consecutive nights, felt his whole body drifting away. Lin, what is this? Why is it so delicious? Did you make it with magic? Cooking is a kind of magic. Lin smiled and filled herself another bowl. Then with a snap of his fingers, the extra beds and kitchen utensils in the room flew up into the air one by one and fell into the box in the corner. Tony stared straight at the eyes. How could such a big thing? Magic isn't all about fighting, Tony. Shadow Cat, who had already wiped out the egg fried rice, walked up to him and patted his shoulder lightly. As a partner, you should slowly learn to get used to Lin's magic. As she spoke, she picked up the reactor on the table. The brand new arc reactor rotates faster than before, and the energy it can provide has increased hundreds of times, reaching a maximum of 8 gigajoules per second. Tony said while eating. Shadow Cat and Jubilation Lee both gasped. 8 gigajoules of energy per second. This is no longer an outrageous question. It is said that it is no problem to surpass the current technology of human beings for a hundred years. The most important thing is, how big is the volume of the arc reactor? Randomly install 10 or 8 of them, and the energy they can provide cannot be against the sky? No wonder Lin asked for it to power the world of Oasis, it works so well. The second daughter sighed again and again. Lin had already expected it, but she was not surprised. Then, the construction of the Oasis energy tower will be left to you. No problem. Tony buried his head in the rice. After I use the new reactor and upgrade the steel battlesuit, I will start building it. Before he finished speaking, the voice of Jarvis suddenly sounded in the office. Mr. Stark, Justin Hammer sent an invitation letter inviting you to participate in the Expo of Hammer Industries. No, Tony has no interest in this, no hesitation. Lin's eyes lit up. Today is really all good news. Tony, since you don't want to go, why don't we go and have fun? By the way, how many more invitations do you want? Three days later, the Hammer Industry Fair was held as scheduled. Justin Hammer has made full preparations for this day. Not only have he invited influential figures from the military and political circles, but also major consortiums that have cooperated with Hammer Industries have also been invited. Definitely, the media and reporters are indispensable. In addition, he even planned to broadcast the entire expo online. This was an inspiration he got on a whim. It has been almost a month, and the discussion on the internet about what mysterious game Iron Man is playing is still going on. The heat made him extremely jealous. How can that guy become popular all over the internet just by playing a game, lying on the sofa and taking a picture? Why can't I have such influence? After today, I, Justin Hammer, will become a popular star. The world's number one arms dealer. In such a state of mind, he attaches great importance to this expo, and vows to break the myth of Stark industry in the arms industry, and he will be ashamed. Especially when he learned later that Tony Stark actually asked for a few more invitations, and seemed to have plans to attend the expo. This feeling is stronger. Come on, come on, Tony, let me crush you in front of the whole world. 
The silent roar echoed over the twisting city. Justin Hammer can't wait. Lynn couldn't wait any longer. The plan to short the stock of Hanmer Industries has officially started. At this time, all he could do was embrace Shadowcat Katie with his left hand and Jubilation Lee with his right hand, and walked into the expo venue with hugs left and right, ready to add fire to this feast. The second girl pressed close to him, her pretty face flushed a little. Lin, why are you in the mood to attend this weapon launch event? Behind him, all the X-Men members are present. Storm wore an ill-fitting dress and felt uncomfortable all over his body. Hammer Industries is an important weapon supplier to the military. If they really develop the steel armor of Tony Stark, the strength of the army will be greatly increased. By that time, there is no need to say much about the latter. The stronger the military, the greater the threat to mutant. Not everyone is a magneto, manipulating metal all he wants, ignoring that steel battlesuit. I guess, what's going to happen tonight? Phoenix's dress is red, which makes her figure embossed, with an intellectual and elegant temperament. On this occasion, there is no pressure for her. Cyclops wore a pair of sunglasses and observed the venue vigilantly. So, Lin specially called us here to see the excitement? If the professor hadn't agreed, I would never have come. Storm stepped on his skirt and almost fell to the ground, he couldn't help but let out a sweet breath. Wolverine Logan looked at them speechlessly. All right, all right, since we're all here, why can't we relax a bit? If you're like this, it's easy to arouse suspicion. Logan, are you ashamed to say someone else? Storm couldn't afford to complain. Perhaps because of being separated from normal society all the year round. Both she and Cyclops are a little uncomfortable, and their performance is a little worse than Phoenix, who is used to similar situations. But at least they are prepared. But what about Logan? This guy is really not nervous at all, and his demeanor is calm and complacent. But he was wearing a gray jacket with an unlit cigar dangling from his mouth. With his rough face, wolf-like beard and hair, he had a high rate of turning heads. In terms of arousing suspicion, he is obviously the most likely to arouse suspicion in this kind of occasion. Take it easy, my dear teachers, don't be so nervous. Lin didn't look back, didn't even move her mouth. But his voice was clearly heard by everyone. Tonight, everyone's attention is on the Iron Soldiers. No one will pay attention to you. Even if there is. Dot you should get used to appearing under the spotlight. Everyone was startled. Dignified X-Men, they have saved the world more than once, do they want to hide their heads and show their tails for the rest of their lives? Lin said lightly. Maybe Charles didn't care about this issue, but in my opinion, you have a serious problem with your own positioning. X-Men, the leader of the mutants, it is to lead the mutant group to seek survival and development. If even you yourself are used to hiding and being transparent people who save the world but don't know about it, why do other mutants count on you? Having said that, Lin couldn't help but sighed slightly. Teachers, times have changed. It doesn't mean that if you save the world, the world will definitely treat you favorably. Look at Batman in Gotham City, desperately fighting crime, but he has become a famous wanted man. Look at Superman in Metropolis, how many lives have been saved over the years, but now he is being judged. On the other hand, Iron Man Tony Stark, even though he revealed his identity, is still popular and hot, and has become a superhero sought after by the whole world. This shows what? The Metropolitan Trial of Superman was once a bummer. Everyone in the X-Men definitely knows it. Hearing Lin mention it at this moment, Storm subconsciously asked. Explain. What? It means that it doesn't make any sense to hide your head and show your tail. Explanation superhero needs packaging. It shows that the personality is very important. It shows that as long as it works properly, Mutant can also change from a monster that everyone shouts and beats to a superhero admired by the world. Lin hit the nail on the head, and what she said was like thunder. Everyone's scalps were numb. The era of superhero has arrived. In this era, whether you are a superhero or a villain who threatens the world does not depend on whether you are fighting crime, but on. Dot you fight crime at the same time. Has anyone seen it? Teachers, no matter what the X-Men do, the most important thing is to let the public know. So, take off your disguise, enjoy tonight. For everyone in X-Men, this statement is obviously a bit deviant. But at the moment, they secretly chewed what Lin said, combined with various things that the X-Men had encountered over the years, thinking about it, they suddenly discovered. It seems that this is the truth. 
Saving the world without being known is tantamount to not saving. What the hell, I have lived for more than a hundred years, and I was educated by students today. Wolverine Logan spat out the cigar violently from her mouth. He has not been an X-Men for a long time, but his experience is the richest among all of them, so at this moment, his feelings are also the deepest. He knew what Lin had called them for. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.